Hello and welcome to another Telekinesis video. Today we're talking about drugs. Many of you have asked me if you do drugs if it if it stops our telekinetic flows. And the short answer is yes. Drugs, any kind of drugs are very bad for you. And I know that because I've been addicted to drugs myself in the past. I'm not perfect. But let me explain. Every human mind needs need some kind of relaxation to get into the uh, to the state of being able to do telekinesis. And many people think they have to smoke weed for example to be able to do telekinesis and this is just completely wrong it's true when you smoke weed for example your your mind calms down in some ways but in other ways it gets stimulated so much that you can't focus on telekinesis anymore this is why it's so important that you don't do drugs when you do telekinesis but it's also important that you don't do drugs at all and what kind of drugs am I talking about? I'm obviously talking about all the hard drugs like heroin, like cocaine. You shouldn't do all of these things because it's just so bad for your body and also bad for your mind. But also other drugs like, let's say, uh, like weed, for example, uh, this is also not good for you, even though people say oh, it might cure cancer or whatever. But you can do those things with a healthy diet as well. You don't have to smoke weed for that. And what else? Let's say cigarettes are legal in most countries, but cigarettes, they destroy your lungs and destroy your body from the inside. And then at some point, you just don't get enough oxygen into your brain to do telekinesis. And you just have to think about that. Be logical about that. When you smoke cigarettes, you 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 you're destroying your lungs, and that way you can't breathe in fully anymore. Okay, so don't do that. I was addicted to cigarettes as well back in the days, but then I realized that if you smoke, uh, that I just couldn't do telekinesis, and then I stopped, and then my lungs recovered, and then at some point I was doing telekinesis and um, only because I stopped doing drugs. What else? Let's say coffee for example. I would count this as a drug as well because when you drink coffee uh, your body gets the sensation you're just, like very awake for a long time but then also it you get trouble when you try to fall asleep and when you have trouble falling asleep it it causes stress in your body and when it's uh, when you, your body is stressed you can't calm down to do telekinesis or really do anything in life so you become addicted to caffeine and then you can't do anything without it anymore so i want you to have those thing things in mind when you decide do i want to do drugs or not and it really starts with the simplest things like when you 16, 18 kids start drinking alcohol and this is so bad for your liver and for your entire body. You're killing yourself from the inside slowly but surely and then you become addicted and then you drink maybe only once a month then you start drinking once a week and then you're an alcoholic. And Do you really want to be this person? Do you? Just think about it for a second. It's not just telekinesis what we're doing here. We're trying to be healthy. We're trying to be good people. So every time when you think about doing drugs or other narcotic, just think about it. Do you really want to do this? Do you really need this? Or is your health more important? Is telekinesis more important to you? This is a decision you have to do for yourself. I've made mine. I broke my addictions and if you if you're willing to do that too I can give you a few simple tricks what you can do first of all you have to break old habits for example 
let's say cigarettes for example if you always smoke a cigarette when you wait for the bus try to find another activity when you wait for the bus maybe you can learn another language or even better do the breathing technique so it helps you with telekinesis instead of smoking cigarettes and po uh, poison your body okay and breaking a routine is the first step you have to do with any addiction okay so if you have questions about that i know it's a big big topic so if you have any questions about that and if you're willing to break your addictions just talk to me i'm here to help you okay let's do this together i hope this was helpful if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and have a good day